So hi everyone, I'm finally doing a favourites video. I know I've missed out on the last few months, but what I'm actually going to be doing, apart from just my November favourites, I'll be mentioning some that I've been obviously loving in November, but also over the last few months, I'll, I'll mention those as I go along. Anyway, I'll get straight to it okay. for some eyeshadow palettes. This one's the Anastasia Beverly Hills All I Want palette. I did post a photo up on Facebook a couple weeks after I actually got it, but I've been using this through November. Had to get it because it is full of neutral or natural colors. Obviously a decent sized mirror. And you've got uh, nine shades there, uh, freely natural. And there's a mixture of matte and shimmery shades, which is what I actually like. So these will be good for when I go back to work, which is actually in a few weeks. I'll just see if I can swatch. We've got some sort of satiny finishes. That's a nice uh, chocolatey brown. You've got more sort of frosted black with shimmer. Or actually like a dark brown. That one, which is that torpy color there. So they're fairly pigmented, as you can see. Also comes with some other ones. You've got the little brush there, the Duo brush, which I haven't used. I haven't tried the mini size mascara yet, but I have Stasia Eyebrow Gel. I have heard reviews on the full size one where people have loved it, that it really, really does hold, and it really does. I am desperately trying to sort of grow and groom my eyebrows, because again, over plucked. But I have been loving that. It's not sticky, but it does seem to hold really well. And that was about $32, I think, from Anastasia.net. Next eyeshadow palette is Saks. It's the Ilux Eyeshadow Quintet, so your five shadows. And this is the Love at First Sight. A little mirror there and obviously your five shades actually all frosted or a slight shimmer to them and this was actually $14.95 I got this at one of my local pharmacies and if you go to the Saks website in Australia they're basically at uh, pharmacies only so you can see which one will be closest to you if you want to get it but to, to try it and there's only three different uh, color schemes in this one and if you just see on the lid there, I actually took the sticker off the box because I want to get the other two. So I thought instead of having to scramble around and open them or look at the back, I could just go by the sticker that I put on the lid. But that's just me. It's not as pigmented as most of my other shadows. Anyway, on to keeping the stuff on my lids because my I really have oily lids. Uh, but this is the new tube, the new tube style that I got, and this is in the color Eden, the flesh tone one. I actually got this on eBay, but there are online stores in Australia that stock the new tubes. One I can think of is onlineforless.com.au. Uh, and no, I'm not affiliated with them, but if you wanted to get it from an actual online store in Australia, but I picked this up from an Australian uh, eBay anyway. Uh, that was around a $30 mark. And eyeshadow brush I've been really loving as a smudger or a sort of smudger or blending brush is this one. It's the Royal Landnickel from the Silk Pro range, their large smudger. I actually got this at iMats. I mentioned it in that haul, but I'll it to my Sigma blender brush. But now I've been using it a lot more. It's actually a lot denser than that brush, and it's really good for sort of getting in to blend around, apply the shadow, and also if you're wanting to contour around the nose, I really love this brush. It's just a really good, dense little brush. So some mascara. <laughs> Can't forget the mascara. I've been really loving the Miranese ones, and these I actually got at the ABBW weekend. I will be doing um, more on my blog about a lot of that stuff there to review it. But these two have been really going well on my eyelashes that to sort of stay on and not flake. And this one is the Secret Weapon Mascara. This one I've been liking for really getting the volume right down at my, my lash line. You can see the actual wand there and it hasn't flaked or smudged on me since I actually opened it and it's been the week after the ABBW weekend so that is quite a while it's probably getting to at the end of its life now but I've also been using the other Miranese one is the Vibra Lash and that's basically the one where you get the three different speed settings and it vibrates. I haven't tried any of the vibrating ones that are on the market Let's see if I can get there that's nice and long and I like this for lengthening the ends of my lashes and I love it because I use it only on the highest setting though and I find it really does well on the outside. When I've curled the corner of my lashes, it really gets that nice long flick towards the end and it helps it stay put during the day. And being a contact wearer, 
may not be for some other contact readers out there, but I find when I have my contacts in, I really blink a lot more than when I'm wearing my glasses. I really, I can feel it. And also my eyes get quite dry during the day. So I am putting eye drops in my eyes during the day. So I do obviously get that extra tearing. But neither of these are waterproof and they haven't sort of run on me. So again, that's a big thing for me. And my last eye thing, I promise, is some eyebrow stuff. And I've gone on many times about how thin my eyebrows are. It's pretty obvious, but I have over plucked them and I'm trying desperately to sort of fill them out a little bit more. So I've been looking at serums or stuff on the market that help with the growing or sort of promote thicker brows. One I've been looking at is a billion dollar brows. Brow boot. It's just a clear gel that you apply at night with a little doe foot applicator. So just apply it around the areas you want to sort of help condition or sort of help promote growth. It's not for areas that have been where the hair follicles have been over plucked or damaged. And I think that I do have a lot of areas maybe at the front of my brows. I've been trying to grow it now for almost a year and a half now, trying not to pluck it, and really not much has happened. But I just want to try and thicken them up if I can't regrow those follicles. But I've been mean, finding in the, I think it's five weeks now, that I've been using it, it, they have been thickening up, up, and I'm sure I'm not imagining it, but that's sort of what, what I'm feeling is it's conditioning or helping thicken the brows, but it really isn't promoting growth in the, in the areas that have been over plucked, unfortunately. And the next thing that I've been helping me look a little bit more respectable during the day is their billion dollar brow universal pencil. And you see it's got the spoolie on one end, which I find convenient and it's got the mechanical oops, uh, pencil on the other. And this, they claim, is a universal color, so people with light, lighter shades to dark shades like myself can uh, use it. Because it is quite a complimentary tone. It's just a taupey brown color, like a slightly waxy feel, so it sort of helps stay on the brows, but at the same time, it is very blendable. You build it up, the heavier you apply it, the darker it gets. But I can't claim what it's like for lighter shades, but for me it's been working quite well to quickly get onto face products. The W7 Multi Bronze, and I'm pretty sure I put a photo on Facebook. This cost me $5 from Chemist Warehouse, or the Chemist Warehouse. But I love it because it's very velvety, very soft. Not a lot of uh, colour payoff with these ones, but I like it to give me a little bit of highlight, bronzer, and colour to my face. So I've been liking that sort of just along my cheeks in the morning cheeks and foreheads. I really, really do love that one and it's, of course the price point. Uh, another face product is the Garnier BB Cream, apparently the first BB Cream in Australia. Thanks to for giving me the heads up on this one. I went out to Price Light and grabbed it. I've been using it for, for the last few months now, almost three months now. And I've been loving it well into November. I wear it on days where I'm just sort of around the house. It's more like a radiant tinted moisturizer for me, but really doesn't do much to sort of cover pigmentation or obviously my freckles or anything on my face. It's just a nice sort of radiance to, to my look. I do find that when I am wearing it under foundation and I don't use a primer, that my skin gets oilier quicker. It's the Origins Minusing SPF 15. It's got the Mango Steam. Uh, in it. I've been using this again as a moisturizer, as, a, as a, a tinted moisturizer even though it doesn't claim that it's tinted. I also use it as my SPF cream and under days where I'm wearing makeup when I'm not wearing the Garnier one or the other BB creams. I loved it a lot more than any of the other uh, moisturizer slash tinted slash SPF creams that I have. I actually bought it originally for my friend's birthday. Um, you can check out her blog it's beanylicious.com or Benny Blogs Beauty. I bought it for her and she loved it. She actually gave me a little sample and I, I, I loved it. I was like addicted on the spot so I had to get out and get it myself. I got this from Kit Cosmetics or Kit Online. It comes out fairly white. It's more like an off-white, almost like a grey-brown white. But you can see little grains in it. And I think those are what gives it the colour. Because once you start to, see so if I can do this on camera, blend it in. And that's, that would be enough to do my whole face. I've probably wasted a bit there, but as you start to blend it in, I don't know if this will actually, that's actually the color it turns. It's like a fleshy color. Uh, once it starts to darken up a little bit more, it's actually slightly darker than my, my hand, but it matches perfectly with my face. But I just love it. I love how it feels on my skin. My skin feels uh, moisturized and hydrated during the day. It feels great, looks great on its own and also under makeup. And I can even wear it as a primer, even with my, my makeup. So I really do 
like that as an all-round uh, face cream. SPF 15 as well. There we go. So it darkened up a lot more there. So I think that's where people are saying it starts to match with their skin tone. It may not match your skin tone completely. I'm not sure with a lot darker skin tones or a lot lighter skin tones. But I know um, Benelicious has a, a lighter skin tone than myself and she loves it. She absolutely loves it. So there we go. That's what colour it goes. So, anyway, <laughs> quickly on to anyway, two primers that I have actually been loving. I mean, I have a lot of face primers, but one I've been really loving is this Laura Mercier one, and it's just a sample size, the foundation primer. And I've never been quite able to afford some of the Laura Mercier stuff in Australia, but uh, this was a little sample that, sample that we got in the Lust Habit box from the ABBW weekend. And, and I'll be doing a blog, so I'll put the link down below on those ones because I've since subscribed and I've got a couple of the boxes so far. But, I mean, this is why because there was lots of little goodies and samples in there that I loved. But I have been really enjoying this. It's almost gone. I've been trying to <laughs> make it last. And um, that's something I've been using at the end of September, all of October and into November as well. So... Um, and one other thing, now I've been hearing about them, I think it's the Moni Stats anti chafing gel that people use overseas as a face primer. So I can't get that one in Australia, you can get it on eBay from overseas, but I wanted to try something similar. And this is the Lanacane anti chafing gel. So it starts out as a clear gel, you work it in, and it goes into like a velvety, almost powdery feeling. So it goes quite matte on the skin. And I've been using this sort of around my oily T-zone. Uh, and it'll be good, I suppose, as a chafing gel in summer. Not the same, it's not the complete same ingredients as the Monistat one. It does have the same, I think that's the ingredient, the dimethicone. Uh, it does have that, um, which the Monistat one does. But some of the other ingredients are different, like the cornstarch, I think. But I got this at just a local pharmacy, and they're around about the $10 mark. But... Another product, and it is a face product, but I've actually been using it on my legs. It's the Lee Tan Face Tan Radiant Glow Instant Self Tanning Lotion. And as you can see, it's that Marmite color. I've been using it to death, as you can see, that nice squash tube. Last year, I mentioned, I think it was the, I think it was the one of the Garnier face ones I actually used on my legs as well. And I've been loving it because I find they're not as sort of pigmented and they give a nice radiance. So I sort of like them as a tan slash radiant bronzer for the legs and this is like and this gives a nice radiance i love it because it gives me a nice natural look to the skin especially on my legs i don't because i want it to sort of match my face and normally end up with you know browner face and white pasty legs but this is how to keep pasty legs at bay this uh at the abdw weekend um but one of the tri shave ones i've been loving is the three-in-one shave cream again this is a product we got at the abdw weekend but i wouldn't mention these if i didn't love it and i've been loving it over the last few months um not just in november and as you can see i have it's all gone but i love it because it really does moisturize my legs and especially when i change over to new blades i find i do get that horrible shave rash but I have been using this cheap generic um, shave foam but I find I've been addicted to this because it's so moisturizing normally I rely on my numerous skincare lotions and creams and body balms to sort of help keep my legs moisturized but I find this a really nice this feels really good in the shower you sort of massage the cream into your legs it sort of lathers up not foams up but sort of gives a, a sort of a cream along your legs or a, a light lather and other and some brushes, other brushes I've been loving for the face. This is the number 27 Royal and Nickel Kabuki that I bought um, at IMAX. Mm -hmm. This originally I'm using it as a cot for my contour and bronzer on my face, but I've actually been trying it as uh, I've actually been trying my face powders. That's my mineral and my uh, normal compact powders. It's actually been going really well when I run up, build up the makeup, or I want to get more of a higher coverage and another brush I've been loving more for my mineral powders or if I want to or if I want my uh, my transparent setting powders or I want to get more of a lighter coverage is this uh, Royal Anatical brush as well and this is the powder GL brush this is the one that I got in that the gift from Royal Anatical that 12 piece brush set but I will be doing a separate review on that and my other Royal Anatical brushes which I'm so I mean loving that it's nice and dense too the lips, um, my favourite balm, I've been honest, over the last three months is probably this one. It's the Maybelline Baby Lips, and this is the orange flavour. It's just a clear, 
balm with the orange sort of scent to it. My friend Cindy actually sent this to me. Thank you so much for that. It was in the goodie box. I, don't, I think I put the photo on Facebook, but I haven't done the post on it. But I, I love this. It's just the one that I reached for because, again, the color, I love... I love that color scheme there, the orange and the purple. So it's something I've been throwing in my bag, something that I sort of put on every other day. I got sent this White Glow Extreme Whitening uh, Pen set. So I've got strips and the White Glow pen. And I've been loving this to piece right. out. So you get this White Glow pen, and it's got the gel in there, which you basically apply to your teeth. And it's just a twist up. I love the fact with this one is if you want to sort of brighten your smile during the day, if you're out sort of traveling, uh, you can just throw this in your bag Apply it to your areas that you want. I've just been doing sort of my smile line and also my grimace line. So just those sort of front teeth along there to sort of help brighten them up. But I've actually been really loving it. My teeth aren't sensitive, so I haven't had any issues with sensitivity. I've been using it, for, I've been, I used it for a couple of weeks that my smile did get brighter. The strips that also come in the, in the pack. So you don't just get the pen, you get seven of these ones. And it's just the idea is ripped it off but you apply um you've got two strips the long the long rectangle one to your top teeth and the curved uh, one to your uh, bottom teeth along there and just fold it back and you can leave it on for 10 minutes to half an hour so that's finally everything sorry that was a little bit more rambly than i intended to but like i said i've been doing products over the last few months and probably ended up doing a little bit of reviewing on there as i normally tend to do but Thanks for being with me. I cannot believe Christmas is so close. And take care.